Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Young Wee Music, and we are back with another video. And in today's video, we got a review of the Man Boy Mysteries album, I Could Dream Forever. Um, now, this one, it, it's, it's, it's definitely different than the last one I reviewed. If you all saw the last one I reviewed, it was The Calm Before the Storm by Auxilio. And yeah, I gave it a pretty good score. But uh, yeah, this is this album, uh, I Could Dream Forever. So it's... We'll get, I guess, like, the same thing with that video. Like, I, I'm freestyling this kind of off the top. Uh, we're going to be doing, like, the goods, the bads, all that. And kind of how each thing, like, rolled out. So, yeah. Anyway, so, <clears throat> so, the first thought I had about the album was it definitely sounded different than the last one he made, Run the Vill, which was a lot more of, like... I don't know how to describe it, more synthy. Run the Ville is a lot more kind of like synthy and stuff, like kind of more poppy, a little more like energetic kind of thing. This is a lot more moody and down tempo. So you can't really compare the two albums together. So it's kind of like, it's definitely just a different sound, which I did end up liking. I did like that there was a different sound on the album. It really created this new dynamic in what it was. And... <clears throat> yeah it was pretty cool the the i guess i'll start with like the negatives um because yeah that's what i did with the other video um so the negatives about this album it felt very i don't know how to describe this it felt more like a marathon and i said this in my reaction which i don't know if i posted it yet but i'll let you guys know in my reaction, I said that a lot of Mysteries music nowadays tends to be a lot like very marathon -y in the sense where there's not a lot of change within his albums. Like when usually like when you're making an album, like you like to be diverse, you like to be versatile. There's a lot, a lot of it, it kind of feels like a lot of the same tracks are repeating on this album. And that, that was a problem I had with the calm before the storm. But this kind of was a little bit more, I guess, amplified um, because it. A lot of the tracks kind of sounded similar and the beats were really good i liked the production on it but there's a, such a thing as where things get too similar and i felt like in every track he didn't really switch up the tone of his cadence and his voice a lot and a lot of the it was either like a low pitch or like a high pitch cadence so the unfortunately like the voice it kind of like felt like it kind of just kept repeating and when it kind of kept repeating it felt like the album was just like one long song the album sometimes felt like one fifty minute like the album sometimes felt like one fifty minute long song which i think was how long the album was so but and i think like that's those really aren't like kind of like the like i guess the bad things like the flows were pretty good some of the hooks were pretty catchy um, songs like Kung Pao, She Want Gold, um, as well as a bunch of others. Herms, I think it was, I can't remember, but it was the one that he actually produced himself, which that is a very respectable move, like producing one of your own songs on the album. And it was a good beat too, so, and I enjoyed it. So, uh, like that stuff like that, like the, some of those hooks were very catchy and replayable and stuff. And yeah, it felt very like yeah like the flows kind of stayed with it with like with the hooks and stuff and like the verses they kind of went on with each other but like that ended up being good and bad like in the sense of like not so good where it felt a little repetitive but it felt good because you could like like it was like switch up like it was essentially it would it would it would kind of like like keep the hook in your mind because it would like oh because it like sounded similar but um yeah um and so like now that i've covered kind of like the voice the flow stuff like that i'm gonna be talking about the lyrics um not a huge part of it but like it definitely the lyrics left me i guess disappointed in the sense like i'm not i wasn't expecting this to be like lyric album type of thing that's not what the music is about but like when we did our and it was a, it's not it was a little bit of a personal gripe i had with this but fuck it i'm saying on this platform when we did the interview he was talking a lot about how this album was going to be very like it's going to speak on mental issues it's going to be like a lot more like like advanced and 
other stuff like that where it felt like a lot of the stuff that he was going to be talking like he was going to be talking about a lot of stuff on the album and uh, that got me thinking that had my expectations set on all right this is going to be a lot more of a like focused album on different topics which is always cool but like i didn't need it to be that way it's just what i was expecting going into it due to like what he was talking about but unfortunately none of that was really said on the album it 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 was just kind of you know the standard stuff like fucking bitches getting money stuff like that which is fine it's just like it's fine it's just like when you um when you talk about it uh like when you when you set expectations and then you kind of like not they they aren't really met on like they kind of don't really appear in the album it kind of sets a different tone in the listener's head and this is just my own experience with it um but it's it's like kind of like the one huge like kind of i guess like downtone i had with it but the actual sonic view of it was really like the actual sonic part of it was really nice um like yeah and like cre- credit to like the people who mixed it who produced it like all around sonically it was really nice and i could tell that's more of what he was going for with this one the album didn't seem not focused like it felt like a lot of effort was put into it it was made a lot but i had different expectations going into the album so that's why i kind of was a little disappointed by it and as well i mean there are other parts in the album that were pretty cool like um i can't remember on can't fold uh where he he kind of had that chief co- chief keith moment at the end um that love sosa moment at the end where like the dude was talking um but yeah that that was that was that was that was cool <laughs> but uh as well as like there were some pretty good songs on there um like kung pao yeah, Can't Fool was pretty good. Herms, I think it was. On to Something. Want, she Want Gold. I could go on and on. I thought a lot of the tracks were good. But some of them left to be desired. I wish they were a little more versatile. I wish they were a little more stronger in the lyrics. A little more toned up. And especially because, like, his ver- he dropped... Uh, on Me dropped a project. And he had a verse on Cold Stone that was really, like, really good. And that's kind of what I was expecting for the album, but it was definitely a little different as well. Um, Villa to the Hills, Hit List are also two pretty decent tra- tracks on there. Um, all the features really stepped up on there, like Ocean Dallas, Uno Guap, um, as well as a bunch of other guys, Playboy. A bunch of those guys stepped up on that album, um, and that was also nice to see. And Mystery was matching the energy with those guys, which is something that's really nice and is good to hear. But so I guess to all that with all that, I guess I'm going to my closing thoughts. So while I will say he tried a lot on, he seems like he tried a lot on this project. He was going for a different sound, which is always nice. The expectation, the lyrics, the cadence, and the overall bit of the sound to it left a little, left a lot to be desired. And I think there was a lot of room he could have played within that album, like to be able to make it a lot more in- interesting and keep the engagement and stuff like that. So I don't think it was a bad album by any means, but there was a lot left to be desired. And I hope he can improve a little bit upon the album that he made, but it was still a all right album. So I'm going to give it a score of a five to five and a half i'd say yeah around there so probably a 5.3 um yeah like i said before a little bit left to be like a lot left to be desired um but the production the the sound and the sonicness of it was very nice and it seemed very like good in terms of like the sound quality as well so that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you've enjoyed this video um we we're gonna be posting a lot on the youtube videos um so keep in tone um i'm currently working on something right now you guys are gonna see it i'm i'm maybe dropping something at the end of the year but we'll see about that um a lot of stuff coming and yeah i can't wait to share it all with you guys you guys are amazing mean a lot to me and this has been your boy young with music signing out peace